Look at here. See that right there? Just never know what you find. We are in the local Salvation Army. There's a little Imperial USA. Like a paring knife for cutting tomatoes and stuff like that. Just a little slicer. Imperial. Ain't that cool? Well, guys, I just want to interrupt the broadcast real quick and wish everybody a happy 4th of July. I hope y'all have a safe and fun time with your friends and family. And as Mr. Howard K. always says, a subscriber to the channel, God bless America. And now, back to our regular broadcast. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all were tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. I'm in just uh, the new knife shop, guys. I'm, uh, there's been a little change of plans, and I'll go over that with you. Real soon. I'm not going to start painting on it yet. I actually went and bought some lumber today from Lowe's. It's going to be going up before I paint, but I'll be starting on that probably this weekend and hopefully have it up all over the weekend. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm going to be doing here in a minute. But in this video, I'm going to be opening up three different packages. One is from uh, Cookville, Tennessee from Mr. Thomas. The other one is from James from uh, Vance, Alabama. And the other one is from Timothy, all the way from Castle Rock, Washington. How about that? That's pretty cool. So, uh, be opening up these three packages, and I'm going to give you an update on my shop. And I did get my one gig per second fiber line internet hooked up today. So... We are using the one gig service out here, so I'll be doing lives here after I get the knife shop done, and uh, I hope to have my knife shop close to being done by August 5th. That's when I plan to do the next uh, Tunnels of Towers charity auction. So uh, I got lots of knives, but I have about 30 knives on there uh, come the, uh, the 5th of August, so can't wait for that. But uh, we're fixing to get in these packages, guys, and see what they sent. But I just want to thank all y'all for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoy the video. You see what I watch, guys. That's the best private TV show you can watch right there. Andy Griffith Show. Well, there's the three packages, and here's the lumber I'm going to be putting up. I'm going to be putting baseboard all the way around, Then I'm going to put a little chair rail all the way around then i'm gonna put a, another one by four that's what i'm using one by fours for the baseboard one by fours for the uh, chair rail and then one by four all the way around well i'm gonna get rid of that gap between there's a little gaps here and there but i'm gonna be putting that one by four all the way up against the metal all the way around the shop here uh just to give it um cover up that gap and then, once I have the, the baseboard, chair rail, and that top railing up, I'm going to be putting this, uh, the one by twos, then furring strips, perpendicular to the floor. So we're going to be running one about every one and a half feet down all the way around the wall here. And then we're going to paint the bottom like a, a dark brown. Then we're going to paint the top. I have two-tone. Top, a uh, coyote brown, a, a little light tactical brown. It's going to be pretty in here. And it's going to, that, that look's going to make it really look old-timey. So uh, we're also going to be getting rid of a lot, a lot of this stuff in here. But uh, especially that, that's, that's coming out of here. But uh, then we're going to paint the doors trim it in that uh, dark brown so it's gonna look good it really is so, so change of plans but uh it's always for the better so it's not for the worse so that's what we're gonna be doing this weekend we're gonna be getting that stuff up but uh we're fixing to get in these packages now okay guys here's the box all the way from uh washington state fixing to open this up and see what's inside Wow, guys. You can't believe what's in here. Wow. That's all I can say. Look at all this handle material, guys. All this stag. Bone. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Man. Sakes alive. I can't wait to get set up to work on this stuff, man. Man, it's a big old box stuff. Check that out. Nothing but stag. This slap amazing, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Unreal. Unreal, guys. That thing looks polished on it. It's beautiful. I wonder what that is. Let's uh, read the note. I <laughs> got intrigued. To go over the details. But uh, dear Mr. Kevin, the knife doctor, I really enjoyed your videos and knife hunting ventures looking for lost treasures. This box of antlers came from the estate of a local custom knife maker after he passed away several years ago. I purchased several boxes of antlers he used for knife handles and various other applications in his leather work business. Included is a wide variety, variety of shapes and sizes for you to use, trade, auction, or give to your friends for their projects. Wishing good health and happiness to you, your family, and your friends. Warm regards, Tim Hatterley, Castle Rock, State Washington, the Evergreen State, birthplace of SOG Specialty Knives Incorporated. Well, I be dog. Well, Tim, thank you so much for this. I really love that right there. It is awesome of you to send me this stuff. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful bone. Beautiful bone. And this is from up there. Check that out, guys. Ain't that just beautiful work? Beautiful antler. It's amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Oh, check this out. Look how thick that bone is. Oh, he already got that drill. I wonder if there's a mate to that. Very cool. Beautiful. Tim, I can't thank you enough, man. Appreciate the antlers. Sure do. Thank you, man. Tim sent those knives and gifts all the way from Castle Rock, Washington. 2,991 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Tim, I appreciate those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Okay, guys. The next package comes all the way to us from Cook. Ville, Tennessee, from Mr. Thomas. Kevin, hello, Doc. I hope all is well. I've recently found your channel on YouTube, and I've really enjoyed watching your ideas, and it's made me spark an interest in knives again. Since I've been watching your videos, I have fell in love with the Buck Spitfire. Me too, buddy. Thanks for that. I've also acquired a few case knives as well. I wanted to send you a few things to get a pen in your map for Cookville, Tennessee. I really appreciate what you do, and I really enjoy watching your videos. Maybe I should explain what a couple of these things are. The long skinny shafts are from tattoo needles. Don't worry, they have never been used. They, they were expired, so I removed the needles. I use them for everything. They're good for getting into small cracks and such. Give them a try. If you find them handy, just say something in the video and I'll be sure you get some more. <laughs> Thank you. The felt pads are for polishing with a Dremel. I've included a couple of attachments for them as well. The rest is pretty much self-explanatory. You are more than welcome to keep these or put them in your auction. Whatever suits your collection best. The Allen key may need a couple of cleanup, but I... Don't think that's a problem for you. I can't wait to see you get the knife shop finished. I really appreciate what you have done for our country and the YouTube world. Best of luck with everything. Give Bub Bucky a pat on the head. 
I sure will, buddy. Stay sharp, Thomas. Man, I love that right there. Thank you so much for this. And you see, guys, how late I am. I'm that far behind, but uh, I'm getting into the June packages now. Uh, so, again, I apologize. It's just so much to do, guys, and I just have so many packages, and I don't want to do a package every time I do a VA video, so y'all, please forgive me, but uh, I'm getting into the June ones now, so they're coming. I'm going to try to do two and three a day here, uh, not every day, but every time I do a video, or every time I do packages, I'm going to do two or three a day, so anyway, here are the felt pads, the polishing pads. And there's some attachments for them too. That's so cool, buddy. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate this so much. And this is a knife right here. Oh, oh okay. This is the the Allen key. The Allen wrenches. That's so cool, buddy. Thank you for that. That's very cool. And I'm sure it's made in the USA. Yep. Hoorah. Thank you for that. I love that. Wow. A little butterfly knife. That is so cool, buddy. Very cool. Love that. Ain't that awesome? Very cool. Oh, a little buck. Check that out, a little buck. Ain't that awesome? I think this is a 305. 375. Very well made. Yeah, yes, sir. I'll put this in the auction. Sure will. See what this is. Ooh, I love that right there. Ain't that awesome? Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm gonna explain this to you real quick. <laughs> oh, uh, I was just talking to Matt Helms yesterday on, uh, you know, we did a, a video together. I did part one of Lunch with Friends and he did part two and he said, I, I noticed you ain't had no blue tape on your hands. I said, yeah, I've been really careful about not cutting myself. And this cut didn't come from a knife. This cut come from a piece of tin I was do uh moving on the back on my trailer from when we was uh working in this shop here i have some tin left over and i was moving it and one piece come right across my knuckle and just shaved a little bitty deep piece out of top of my knuckle right there <laughs> so i gotta wear this for a few days to let it heal up but matt you jinxed me man you jinxed me when you said you ain't seen no blue tape on my hand but that's why I'm wearing blue tape. It ain't from a knife. It's from a piece of tin. <laughs> I've been really, really careful with these knives as of late. I got careless for a little while. but uh, Thomas, appreciate all this stuff, man. I really do. Thank you so much for this. Appreciate it, buddy. Thomas sent those knives and gifts all the way from Cookville, Tennessee. 327 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Thomas, I appreciate those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Right, the next package comes from Vance, Alabama from James. So we're fixing to open it up and see what he sent. Wow. Check this out, guys. This is awesome. Check that out. Ain't that awesome? I love that right there, man. Thank you so much for that. Kevin, a.k.a. The Knife Doctor, thank you most of all for your service to our country. Buddy, thank you so much. Thank you for the shows. 
I have been inspired to get all my knives out and clean them up. Awesome, buddy. My dad served in the Army Air Corps in World War II. That is awesome. Thank you for his service, buddy. I had two uncles that served in the Navy. Thank you for their service. My dad and one of my uncles got me started collecting knives. That uncle in his later years would give me a, a knife, and if I got a new knife, I would try to get two, one for me and one for him. And after he passed, he had my name on boxes that had some great knives. Thanks again for the shows. I now have the sander and the grinder. Never dull and flits. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Also, I'm a proud owner of the Knife Guide. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless James Santa Bo McDonald. Bo. Well, Bo, if I may call you Bo, thank you so much for this. Thank you for your dad and your uncle's service, services to this country, this great nation of ours. Thank you so much for uh, sending me all this, man. Look, look at all this, y'all. Got a buck sheath here. You got an old timer sheath here. You got a, another buck sheath right here. That's a 112, buck 112. What size is this? That's a 276 right there. And you got a buck right here, another 112. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is one other sheath. Very cool. This is a uh, Ontario Knife Co Company uh, lock blade liner lock pocket clip. He had it open. It's made in Taiwan. Seems like a very well made knife. There was a Model 2. What does that say? Randall's Adventure Train. That's very cool. Is that from uh, the Essie, I wonder? Very cool. This is like a very well-made knife. Very well-made knife. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one in the auction. How about that? If you don't mind, buddy, I'm gonna put this one in the auction. Thank you so much for this. And you got leather here. That's cool. And you got this uh, paracord for all for lanyards. Very, very cool. Flashlight with a knife on it. Man, that's a Buck USA. Check that out. That surprised me right there now. How about that? Very cool. I wonder if the light works. You turn it on. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much for that. That's that's awesome of you. Uh, Zippo? It is a Zippo. Check that out, y'all. Craftsman Corporate, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. How about that? Very nice. Thank you for this, man. Appreciate it so much. Love that. And you got... It's right here. It says a hen and rooster. That's pretty. Ain't that pretty? Got a little hen and rooster, a shield right there. Ain't that cool? German stainless. Very cool, man. Very nice knife. Love it, man. I love this. Thank you, buddy. Awesome. And what is this right here? Dear case customer, 
and clothes, please find the knife knives that you sent for us to repair. We are unable to perform the repairs because the tooling has changed and our new parts will not fit in the knife. All repairs are completed with parts from the current production year to ensure that your knife will be within our current engineering standards. All case knives are covered by a limited lifetime warranty against defects in workmanship materials for the life of the owner. Our warranty does not cover normal or missed parts. Since the condition of the knives does not meet our warranty guidelines, a replacement knife will be will not be offered. If you have any additional questions, please. <clears throat> It's pretty old right there. Here we go. Let's see what that is right there. It's a case. X is under 1920 to 1940. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, this is a 65 to 69. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing this, man. And this fell out. magnets very cool appreciate this man and that is very true he is the reason for the season put it up on my filing cabinet right over here hoorah we got this one right here oh a little can opener how about that ain't that cool diamond clear grain belt beer USA, see right there. Been a long time of brewing. That's very cool. Thank you for this so much, man. James sent those knives and gifts all the way from Vance, Alabama, 220 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. James, I appreciate those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. There's one other thing I want to share with y'all guys. Uh, my uh. My oldest son, you know, he was in the Marine Corps. He was a captain in the Marine Corps. And uh, once he become an officer, went through officer training school, uh, then after the officer training, he had to go through another, another six-month uh, rigged course uh, to become an officer. And once he become an officer, he wanted his daddy, which made me very proud, to be his first-hand salute. Uh, so I had to buy me some uh, dress blues. When I was in the Marine Corps, I never owned a, a pair. They weren't required then. I don't even know if they're required now. But uh, one thing I couldn't afford, I wasn't making but, uh, when I was a sergeant, guys, I wasn't making about 500 something dollars every two weeks. That's bring home. And uh, two kids and a wife. Uh, that wasn't a whole lot, and I couldn't afford a pair of dress. I think a pair of dress blues back then in the 80s were like 400 bucks. It wasn't cheap, and uh, I couldn't afford it. Anyway, he wanted me to be his first hand salute, so I bought me a pair of dress blues for the first time. Here's a picture right here. Very proud of that moment. It was a very, very special occasion. It really was, and I just want to thank him for that, and I love him to death. I'm very proud of him. Proud of both my boys are men now. Uh, my youngest, he graduated from the University of Georgia, not only with a uh, bachelor's degree, but also a master's degree. Very proud of him. Uh, he worked with the Georgia football team, URA, for uh, three years when he was at the University of Georgia getting his bachelor's degree. He worked very hard. Uh, and then my oldest son, he went to school he joined the Marine Corps as a uh, reservist, and uh, while I was in the Marine Corps, the reserves, they helped pay for his college. So, uh, and then he applied for the officer school, and he got accepted, and he did very well, and he got out of captain. He's now teaching at the local school here. He coaches. He does youth camps with the kids. Uh, he does a great job. Very proud of him. Very proud, again, of both of my my sons, both my grown sons, they're men now and they are uh, doing very well. I'm very proud of them. But anyway, my long story short, too late. Um, my oldest son, Brummy, 
his uh, Mameluke sword that he got when he was a Marine Corps. It's German made. German made. There it is right here. Ain't that awesome? I don't have enough room. This, I know the lighting is ter terrible. Mr. Howard has already told me. <laughs> I've got to get better lighting in here. And I will. I promise you. Uh, it's just going to take time. But, uh, but I know I didn't have to do the video in here tonight, but I wanted to. I just wanted to give you an update on the the shop and all, and uh, I know the lighting ain't ain't that good, but it, we're 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 doing the best we can. So uh, just bear with me. Everything is coming. Just be patient. Uh, but anyway, again, huh, hey, long story short, he donated this to the knife shop. It's the Mameluke sword. It's the officer sword of the Marine Corps. It's probably the oldest. The weapon that's been in service since I think 1805 and uh, it was presented to an officer uh, in 1805 I think it was the Mameluke sword ain't that awesome but this is gonna be on display in my uh, knife shop guys ain't that awesome very cool very cool so awesome love both my boys they uh they are really, I'm a very proud dad. I really am. I really am. Anyway, well, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all, each and every one of y'all that's watching this that ain't watching this, everybody across the world. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. Sun's just peeking as they hit the road Hunting for the steel that's waiting to be honed Roaming from the city to the countryside Looking for the blades that others left behind